boom, shaka laka boom boom boom. Tell your cars confusion when you walk in the room. Boom, shaka laka boom boom boom. Tell your cars confusion when you walk in the room. Boom, shaka laka boom boom boom. Alright, so I know what you guys are thinking is like, how in the heck is that happening? Well, I'm going to walk you step by step on how you can build your character to go kamikaze on everybody. And I'm going to give you guys the most effective way to actually do this. So the first thing you guys are, we have to do, guys, is we have to go hunting. And we need to find ourselves a taco toco. I like to call them taco taco. And basically what we're looking for are two number things. Number one, we're looking for the level to be above 20 because when you get one that's not... Uh, be over 20 you don't get the action skill and you're gonna have to level him up so what i rec recommend is going to the top portion of the map because they're usually level 20 and plus over there and when you get one you want to make sure that he has the ability called the megaton implode that's the main thing we're looking for whenever we're hunting for a toko toko because that is the thing that's going to make our build optimal so we're going to be finding one of them once we find one of him we are then going to need to find a tombat now the tombats guys those are going to be appearing at nighttime and the best suggestions i have is to go to these particular portions of the map you usually find them there at nighttime or go into a dungeon during the nighttime and pick one up you could theoretically make one but it, they're, they're really easy and not hard to find i mean they're really like they really glow in the dark now the reason we're putting these two together to go to the farm and make a couple eggs and make a couple babies is because we're trying to get a Goriath that's going to be able to drop with the passive skill, or the active skill, the Megaton Implode. We're not really worrying so much about passive skills because we're going to pass these down differently. Uh, I, I always like to focus on one thing at the time to make sure I have everything perfectly done. So we're just going to keep making babies, making babies, making eggs until we have enough of them and we have a Goriath that drops with the Megaton Implode. The other thing that we're, we're going to be worrying about later in the video is, of course, is the attack power. And we're going to explain that in a little bit. But once we have the Goriath with the Mega Implode, we are already ready to go. Next thing we want to do now is now is a time where we need to worry about passing the passive skills and getting the right IV on that character. So what are we looking for? We're going to take our Goriath that has the Mega Implode. We're going to put him in the farm. We're going to get another Goriath that has really good partner skills that are going to be very beneficial to us. And we are going to put him in the pin. Now, the passive skills we're looking for, guys, are the Celestial Emperor, the Send Mind, the Legend, or the Muscle Head. Now, this is going to be, there's going to be a caveat to this, which I'll explain a little bit later. But the main thing we're looking for here, guys, is we're looking to pass those passive skills. In addition to that, we're trying to keep an eye on the attack damage because we want to make sure the attack damage has a really high IV. And the higher the IV, the more damage it's going to do. It caps at 109. So you want to make sure you're getting a Goriath that drops between 106 to 109. So if you get anything from 106 to 109, you have a really good one. 109 being the highest. So that's what you're looking for. If you get a 106, you're going to be losing a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be that much of a damage, okay? So between 106 and 109. Once you have your Goria with the right attack, once you have your Goria with the right passive skills, and once you have your Goria with the active skill you want, you are completely set. Now, the only thing we need to worry about here is determining how we're going to be running this particular character because this is what we have available for us for now. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're running this Goria with Rib Bunnies. Now, Rib Bunnies are going to be extremely important and fundamental for this particular build due to the fact that they're going to boost our damage even more. And the thing about this is that we want to make sure that we also pass on some really good passive skills. Uh, for the Rip Buddies, we're not really too much focused on active skills or anything like that. We're only looking forward our passive skills and only two are the main things that we're looking for. We're looking for Vanguard, which is going to give us a 10% increase in player attack. We're looking for Stronghold, which is going to give us another 10% on attack. So that's going to boost our damage of 20% per every Rib Bunny that we have. Now, the great thing about this, if we actually level up our Rib Bunny to four stars, that's going to give us even more incremental damage that we're going to be able to output with our Rib Bunny. So basically, in this scenario, we're looking for four Rib Bunnies to run with us. 
to give us that nice boost. Now, remember how I said earlier there was going to be a little bit of a caveat? If you guys don't want to walk and you just want to ride a, uh, you know, ride a character or ride a, a mount instead of having four rib bunnies, you could theoretically do three rib bunnies, but I would change the actual uh, stats for the passive skills on the Goriath to the following. So I would actually remove the two I recommend, which is a Send Mind and a Celestial Emperor, and I would put something like Hooligan, uh, Ferocious, or Lucky to replace those due to the fact that those are going to give you a boost on attack and not the boost on the Elemental. The reason I went with the Elemental boost is because as I, I'm running four Rib Bunnies, I don't really need the boost to attack because I'm getting those from the Rib Bunnies and I'm getting that from the food, which I'll explain later. And I am really just boosting the damage that it's doing, uh, you know, the Elemental damage to give me more damage. It's a 500 increment and I'm boosting that uh, 30, 30%, which is really good. Now, what else are we using for this particular build? What else we're using is the following, guys. We're using a food that's gonna boost our damage by 20%. And that food is the local Toko, which is gonna give us the ability of being able to boost that damage a lot further to 20%. Now, the great thing about the local mocha, it's actually very easy to do. All you guys need is deer meat, red berries, and eggs. So you're not going to be taking too much of a hit on your on your cakes, as opposed to the other option, which is the mozzarella cheeseburger. This one does give you the 20% boost, but you're taking a hit on flour, you're taking a hit on tomato, you're taking a hit on milk, and you still got to get some mozzarella meat. So it's a, it's a big challenging here i recommend the the, the, mo, uh, the moco i think that's going to be a little bit ver better a lot viable and like you see i have a ton of them so you're going to be able to boost that so what you want to do whenever you guys are going to go and encounter someone you want to go ahead and feed your gorat you want to feed him some uh some food that's going to boost his damage to 20 percent. and as you see right here we get boosted by 130 plus a 20% boost on the food we just we just ate. Now, in addition to this, we could theoretically get them to 150 if we wanted to, but this is just enough damage to do the damage I was showing you guys right here in the video. Now, this whole week, guys, I'm going to have you guys completely amazed with some one-shot builds, not only by this character, but other characters that I have coming your way. So if you don't want to miss those, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I will catch you guys on the next video.